Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. Uh, today we're going to be doing a short video on a few native trees here in Ritchie Woods Nature Preserve in uh, Fishers, Indiana. Alright, so we are kind of out in an open area. This is what we call a disturbed prairie site. So at one point in time this was forest, you know, and it was clear cut and now they're letting natural succession take over because you look right over there, it's old growth forest. But out here, it's not. A lot of natives popping up like some native dogwoods or begin to pop, but you also have a lot of invasives like calorie pear or honeysuckle or a bunch of other crap like that or some even some invasive grasses, but like, yeah. But there's also a lot of natives too, like this uh, silky dogwood. And they're actually about to come into bloom. Uh, we've also got the native uh, Juniperus virginiana, the only native coniferous evergreen here to central Indiana. And it is a classic succession tree. It only pops up in disturbed sites or in open areas. <clears throat> See, they've produced almost the, like the little blue berries on them, but they're technically modified cones, not berries, technically. We have the American sycamore, Platanus occidentalis, are just starting to leaf out. Also a uh, succession tree. It's not a tree you find in, in a natural forest. It's one you find as usually a succession tree. We got the liquid amber striaciflua, which is the uh, American sweet gum. Just like a sycamore, the leaves kind of resemble a maple. They're just starting to leaf out. And we're actually almost 100 miles north of its native range. Uh, but a lot of times an, a native range can be expanded by planting because it's such a common landscape tree that it's escaped into the wild. And it's not invasive because it is technically native to the southern third of Indiana. Well, again, we are in north central Indiana. So it's technically outside its native range, but again, a range can be expanded expanded by planting. A liquid amber striaciflua, beautiful tree. So technically we are right on the cusp of its native range. You will not find them north of here naturally, though they are landscaped throughout zone five. <clears throat> but even reports of them being damaged from winter cold as far south as Chicago. And I say far south because that's not, that's not all that far away from here easily a two and a half hour drive. So, um, but again, I've never seen sweet gums damaged by cold in Indiana. We've had temperatures as low as minus 15, minus 20 Fahrenheit at the absolute coldest periods. 2014, 2018, and 2019 are three winters that come to mind where it dipped colder than minus 15 Fahrenheit air temperature. Um, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this short little video. This is Nature Man signing off. Bye.